Oh, yeah, I mean, now the journey back, walk 20 kilometers to uh, Mazar Sharif, that gorgeous mosque is, yeah. Sphinx and Mir Safas, they stopped there to do their morning prayers. Mm. It's a long trip back to Kabul, and uh, but Sphinx is so pr profoundly relieved. Uh, woof, body dispatched to bulk of final commandment. 100% fulfilled. Oh, he's never been so relieved about anything his whole life. Whew. But his spirit, heavy. Why? Well, um, uh, Oh, uh, 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 the secret agent uh, <clears throat> could use a tip? It's not a bribe. This is not like a holdup with filthy Bami uh, Tadzik. So, okay. Oh, oh, he's just mm -hmm, hanging around. Oh, well, Sphinx, like I said, so relieved. He gives him a $100 bill. And the eyes, you know, of Marsafes, they open. And his, mm, ah, He's got lustful intentions. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. And he drives off, pedal to the metal. Yeah. Back alleyway. Of the slut belly dancers, huh? Yeah, those uh, Shahrazad strippers of the... Ah, <laughs> uh, seven whales gone? <laughs> Completely. Uh, yeah, they're an international, uh, well, at least in the Middle East, they are a traveling trope. I mean, they're just recently uh, in the back alley of the slut belly dancers in Herat. <sniffs> Fucking around there. <laughs> oh, uh, Egyptian. Yeah, exhausted to the bone. He takes a private room in the funky but fun Noor Hotel. I mean, that's the, that's the hip hippie scene. Yeah, Kabul 1969. Yeah, and uh, yeah, heavy, heavy spirit still because, oh, well. Look, he needs a shower before he can even think. So just hold that heavy spirit. Lighten up a little bit. He's fulfilled the last commandment of his guru. Okay. and uh, But, okay, look. He's, uh, he's weighed down by the unexpected. I mean, almost an ultimatum to score another 880 pounds. We're talking 400 kilos. Ah, shipment of a ha assassin hashish. Hey, smuggle, purchase, deliver, sail this world peace yacht through the Suez Canal, and this time to the 108 marijuana coffee houses of Amsterdam. Thanks to the goddamn best-selling book by Pasha, the hippie is to a hashi, it's the only one assassin now, like in the book. Oh, there's a run on that. On. At the same time, like simultaneously, not serendipitously, Quintessential spiritual uh, hint from Omar. Sweep until you. Mm hmm. Weave. Whatever that means. Ooh. Well, okay. Stokes the kindling. Yeah, they have hot water heaters in Afghanistan. Wood burning. You put in little pieces of wood in the bottom, you make a fire, and you heat a tank of water. Oh, and he, oh, it's almost scalding hot. I mean, you can, you can, you know, burn yourself real good with those, huh? Oh, he luxuriates. Oh, steamy. Oh, hot char. I mean, he's so funky. Can you imagine? All the way back into Cappadocia, and then on the jet, and then the bandits, and then the blood all over him, trying to stop, you know, they're chopping up his guru. He tries to reconcile something that's basically irreconcilable. This is a train wreck. One train coming. What's that? Oh, yeah. I do an international complex uh, hashish drug smuggling run. I mean, that in itself. There's a lot of choo-choo in that, huh? 
Elder Chain comment. Ah, spiritual hint. Sweep until you weep. Become a common sweeper. Get in alignment with your higher self. Oh. Human compassion? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, um, yeah, he, um, he must face, uh, he, he does face that his, you know, it seems a uh, uh, spectacular life. Uh, uh, well, on the inside, it's ass backwards outside. It looks okay, yeah. But uh, yeah, he's been putting a drug deals uh, 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 over, you know, uh, more than uh, just hanging out with common people. Where's the compassion, huh? Yeah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And while soaping up, I mean, he's going to be in this shower as long as he can. Uh, he keenly senses that he must be exceedingly careful with his karma right now. Yeah? Eternal moment in his life. Well, he returns finally to his room. Oh, the Adobe room. It's got a beautiful, comfortable bed, clean sheets, freshed up pillows. Oof. And he sprawls naked across it and uh, for the entire afternoon. Sphinx... Uh, he goes over his trip in karmic, microscopic detail of uh, his current uh, state of affairs. And uh, so once again, he slips into that bardo realm. Yeah, he's, he's done a little uh, Tibetan Buddhism, you know, the Tibetan Book of the Dead, huh? I mean, he's read the Egyptian Book of the Dead. And so he realizes he gets in that bardo between death and rebirth. That's the really quietest place ever. So that his angel of his highest self can uh, speak to him in his state of supramental I mean, way above the mind, uh, quintessential spiritual intuition. Oh, yeah, uh huh. Y'all yeah, been putting drug deals, huh? Above common human compassion, long time now. Mm mm. 